Hi Aki friends, this is Nicole with How the Heck, and today we're going to be making a ginger bath. Uh, ginger baths are one of my favorite things to do, especially when I have some more time at home like all of us have these days. And the good news is you really don't need much for it, so I typically have what I need for each ginger bath in my house already. Um, all you need is a piece of ginger, about yay big. Uh, you'll use a pot of water, so just good old pot, hot water, and you'll bring this water to a boil. This piece of ginger I've already pre-sliced and put in that water, but it'll be about pieces about this big, just roughly chopped. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's going into a bath anyways. Um, and you'll want to keep the skin on. Uh, ginger skin tends to be more energetically warmer um, than the ginger's uh, flesh on the inside. And so if you do this and you find that it's a little too hot for you, maybe you're a warmer person constitutionally, then I would just um, take off the ginger skin. You can peel it and then just put it in the water as you would normally. Um, so I chopped up this ginger, I put it in the water, and now it ended up being like a cup of ginger. I'm just going to close this pot and forget about it. Or, you know, set a timer for like 20-25 minutes, don't completely forget about it. Um, and while this is boiling, um, you can go make your bath, as you normally would. You can add warm water, um, I like to add Epsom salt, uh, you might like to add essential oils if that's your thing. Um, just add what you would normally do for a nice luxurious bath, some people like adding baking soda. Um, and then when the 20 to 25 minutes is over, you'll come back and pour most of this pot of water into the bath. But before you do that, I want you to save about one mug's worth of ginger tea. You're going to pour yourself a mug, just like this, and you're going to add in some brown sugar. And so brown sugar is also energetically warmer than regular sugar. So just like a tablespoon or two. You're going to mix it up. I have a tiny cup and a huge spoon. Um, and you'll just take this to your bath with you. You'll take your bath like you normally would, soak in it for 20 to 30 minutes. And while you're in that tub, You've got this water in the tub, you've got your regular tub water, and you've got this cup of tea in the tub with you. I'm not going to fill myself in a tub because that's weird, but as you're in the tub, just sip on your tea, enjoy, and you'll find that this will warm you from the insides, and this will warm you from the outside. Um, the sugar, you can take it out if you are if you have any kind of candida problems or you're not into eating sugar at all. But I like using it for uterine cramps because it just kind of relaxes the smooth muscle of your uterus and kind of just lets everything take a break there. So um, if you find that it's helpful, try it out. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, hope you guys are managing to survive this time in quarantine and stay healthy. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you soon.